This is it. The Hermes Flight 2 unboxing. So, this is the real unboxing. So, this is the Hermes Light. This is the enclosure. That's a, quite a big wave. And this is the N2 ADR. So this is the first box and this is what I get out of the box. This is the uh, transceiver itself or the uh, SDR transceiver. A few heat sinks that you need to stick on the processor. And a little red cable. I'll explain you later what this is all about. And this is what you get out of the box of the Hermes Light 2 N2 ADR. This is the uh, filter board and a connector to connect things together. And this is what you get from the Hermes Light 2 enclosure. This is the front and the back panel. They're both in one bag. You also have the screws, of course. And uh, this is the uh, heat uh, shrimp, they call it. So uh, uh, to connect the Hermes Light uh, radio uh, to the uh, enclosure for the cooling. And let me just unpack now the different things together. Uh, this is what came out of the enclosure uh, box. You got a front panel, you got a back panel. There's some stuff that you could solder on there, but in this project, there is no soldering. Uh, skills involved. You got the screws here and this is the shim, the heat uh, uh, transfer that needs to be done by that little uh, heat shrimp here. Um, this here uh, is the content of the Hermes Light mainboard. Uh, you get the red cable. I still need to figure out uh, what it is. Uh, these are two little heat sinks. They fit perfectly. One on the processor here and one on the chip over here. Okay, so this is the content. And then you got the filter board and the filter board comes with this connector here, which uh, fits perfectly over here. So you need to align these two here uh, and uh, put this one on top to make the connection. I assume that the first thing, because you know, it's new to me, it's new to you, uh, but I'll uh, guide you around the way that I'm going to assemble the stuff here, the different parts. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, this is a logical way of thinking, is going to put this front panel to the enclosure with these screws that we have here. Let me just do that and uh, show you how it looks like when I put these two screws in here. Now, it doesn't matter which side you take from the enclosure, uh, it doesn't matter at all. So you got that rail over here, this is where it slides in. There you go, and it fits perfectly on this side. This is how it looks from this side here. And the next thing you need to do is take the uh, filter board and put it back to back. And this is gonna be easy. Just push this one in here, just align them, push them in here, there you go. So now the next thing you will need to do is try to find a screw that fits in here and uh, first of all I am going to take a little uh, drill that drill bit that really fits into this particular hole over here and this drill bit uh, I'm just gonna mark where I need to drill the hole so now that I screwed on the uh, screws here I am pretty sure that the board is now in the right position so now, now I will go where the heatsink needs to come, which is right next to this coil here. And uh, I've chosen a drill bit that just goes through that little hole here. So if you, if you want to find the right drill bit, just go here. And the only thing I'm going to do is just manually go in there without touching the uh, board. But I can already see the mark uh, where I need to drill the hole. So uh, then I'm going to unscrew this again. I'll take out the board and uh, I am going to make uh, the hole. In there you go. Okay, so I can take this one out now. And you can see the mark 
and this is where I need to drill the hole. I'm also going to not only drill the hole but also take a little bit of that paint off. So there you go. I'm going to try it as good as I can and right at the position. So. There you go. This is how it looks like. And there you go. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, because there's a little bit of aluminium that's around it, it's going to um, free up a little bit of the paint so it makes very good contact. This is how it looks on the outside. So this is the final result. This is where the shim will actually touch okay, the enclosure. And I have bought some screws. I didn't have any screws uh, of uh, 3 milliliter. I just checked also the drill bit is 3 milliliter. So this one here is 2.5 or 3 milliliter. I'm not sure. It doesn't really say the uh, size here, but uh, uh, this will actually have to go on there. And yeah, I took some uh, paste here, some heat paste. So this is how it looks like with the uh, hole drilled uh, in the uh, enclosure. And with the removal of the paint, uh, the heat uh, plate here will align with this when we shovel the board into the enclosure. Um, for your own understanding, I had to go and buy a screw and I also had luckily some thermal compound uh, laying around that I used for uh, a computer which I'm going to apply between uh, the main board and that little heat plate here, uh, the shim. So um, this screw here and this drill bit here that I used to make the drill, just for your information, is about 3 millimeters of diameter. This one is about 2.8 millimeters of diameter. Uh, you can take up to 3, I guess. And if you look at the... Uh, yeah, if it's not going around. Uh, if you look at the uh, length, this is about 20 millimeters of length. So let me just apply the compound and uh, put this against the boards. So I just applied some non-conductive um, thermal paste uh, on the board and this will have to go on here like this. So with, uh, let me just show it, this should align with that little hole and or more or less good. So the next step what I'm gonna do is also put a little bit of thermal paste over here uh, so I'm sure that um, it will have enough thermal conduction or conductivity to the enclosure. Okay. Okay, so when we shovel it in it's not gonna push all the compound uh, forward so okay let me now shovel this one in so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put these metal things away I'm gonna shovel it in here so with the shim in place it's just a matter of just pushing it forward and putting it in the it into the enclosure and sorry for the shaky video but I'm doing this with one hand for you guys okay there you go this should normally align with uh, the hole that we've been drilling so let me just check and indeed it aligns completely what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn this screw around and come from the bottom like this that's gonna be much better and now I need and this is how it looks like with the uh, screw in there and uh, 
Now I'm just going to close the uh, entire enclosure, so just put the top on there and the back of the Hermes light. And in the excitement I had to open it again because I need to put these two uh, heat spreaders on top of uh, the processor here and uh, on the uh, other chip over here. So let me just do that and assemble the device. So this is how the Hermes light looks like when you finish assembling everything. Uh, so what you don't get, what is not in the box, is of course first of all the thermal paste. So try to get some on hand before it arrives. Uh, you need that uh, two millimeter, uh, 20 millimeter screw with a diameter of uh, 3 millimeters. And uh, there is also no jack here for the uh, voltage supply. Uh, of the Hermes light, there is. Uh, you have to find a UTP cable as well, uh, so that's not included in the packaging. And uh, what I did here, I put some little foot there at the bottom, so there is a little bit of a clearance between the the place where you're going to put the Hermes light, and it won't uh, slide away easily.